What is up? It is Rosa and welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a what's sold on Poshmark video and I did one a couple of weeks ago so it hasn't been a full March month yet. So this is kind of new for me because I usually just do these videos once a month but I thought since I have so many thrift hauls coming up that I wanted to break them up a little bit. I have the thrift haul that you saw before this video, which was my mystery box unboxing. The next one is going to be my one next to from my work. So I just wanted to break it up a little bit with a what's sold video because these are extremely informational for you guys. And that is why I wanted to put one of my what's sold videos in between my thrift hauls so you guys can get the other side as well because obviously everything I show you guys in the thrift haul I hope to sell. So if you guys want to know what sold on Poshmark the last week, make sure to keep on watching. Also, please make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you have me, Angela Bright Patch fan. Remember, we have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 I'm. And let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, so the first items. So it doesn't matter if it's one sale or a bundle sale. I'm just showing you 10 items. So this first one is a bundle sale. I sold a Club Monaco, oh, where is it? There it is. A Club Monaco floral dolman top, a size large, and a flying tomato green printed kimono cardigan, size large. I sold the bundle for $50. My Poshmark fee was $10. I did give a shipping discount of $1.80, so my net earnings on this bundle was $38.20. Would I buy Club Monaco again? Yes, of course. I love buying Club Monaco. It's one of my favorite brands to pick up. It sells, sometimes it sits for a while, sometimes it doesn't sit for that long, so it's one of those hit and miss ones but if you can find a good style then that would be good this one sat for a while would i buy this exact top again probably not but i love club monaco and i'll and i'll most likely pick it up flying tomato also sat for a while if you guys don't know flying tomato is sold in anthropology so i that's why i picked it up um i think it's anthropology or nordstrom one of those anyways it's a higher end brand and would i pick it up again yes and i actually did pick it up again you will see in a thrift haul soon i picked up a really beautiful coral and orange one that has white fringe instead of the green fringe super cute so that is the first item that i show that i sold Next was a pair of shoes. I am getting more into shoes now, which is really exciting. Um, I only pick up shoes that I really think will sell at this point and ones that I can get double my money back. The shoes that I have around me that I can thrift are roughly around $12.99 a pair. So I have to be very picky when it comes to shoes. And I did sell some shoes that I made profit on. And these are the Sam Edelman Ivy Slingback Open Toe Sandals. They are, I sold them for $30. My Poshmark fee was $6 and my shipping discount was $1.80. Would I pick these up again? Yes, I think they are super cute. I love Sam Edelman shoes, actually. I was about to pick up a flat, um, the Sam Edelman flats, the ballerina flat, but my Goodwill had them priced for $24.99, so I left them behind. If they were priced $12.99, I would have picked them up, but since they were priced $24.99, I decided not to. I don't pay more than $14.99 for shoes. That's my goal. That That's my rule now because our shoes are so expensive at this point. All right, next I sold an American Eagle soft, sexy, plush gray cardigan. I want to shout out my girl Kayla Aston on here. Uh, she talks about soft and sexy from American Eagle Outfitters. I decided to try it once, and they have been consistently selling for me. They don't sell super, super high, but they sell enough. I sold this one for $17 minus $340 of the Poshmark fee. This was an offer to me. I didn't do an offer to likers. You know when I do offers to likers when there's some sort of shipping discount involved but this one was just an offer that was given to me um i had it up for i think 23 dollars. the person offered me 17 dollars, so i took it my net earnings were 13.60 i did sell another american eagle outfitter shirt on ebay pretty relatively quick too i think i sold it for 10 dollars 
but like I said, they're not like super expensive flips, but people love it apparently. Um, so this one actually sold within like two or three hours of me listing it. So it was really great. I do recommend picking up American Eagle Soft Sexy Plush. The reason I had this one on my Poshmark instead of just on eBay because my other item actually sold just on eBay. I took it off of Poshmark was because this one fits my aesthetic of my store. It is a cardigan that a lot of people like to wear at work. So it fits my career kind of scheme. So that's why I have it up on Poshmark. All right, so the next item is something I was super happy to get rid of. This is a shirt that my coworker gave me to sell. This is by 47 Brand. It's the San Francisco Giants Gear Baseball Tee. I sold it for $10. My Poshmark fee was $2.95, and my net earnings were $7.05. I did, I was, like I mentioned, this was given to me by my coworker to sell because she was over the t-shirt. So I got it for free, which was great. Next is this BB Heavenly Puff Sleeve Cold Shoulder Sweater. I sold it for $15. My Poshmark fee was $3 and my net earnings were $12. This came in the Thrifting Wonderluster box. Next is finally a pair of skinny, skinny ankle zip jeans by Madewell. I love finding Madewell jeans. They tend to sell for me relatively quickly if they are a good brand or a good brand, good size. So the Perfect Summer Jean is my favorite to find, especially right now. The Madewell Skinny Skinny Ankle Zip Jeans sat, sat for a very, very long time. I thrifted them. So my price for these were $30, um, what I sold them for. My Poshmark fee was $6, so my net earnings were $24. This, I believe, was an offer. A lot of the things that are purchased from me are offers, just to let you know, like mostly like 95%. Next was another pair of jeans. These are by Gap. They are the Super High Rise True Skinny DW Jeans. I sold them for $18. My Poshmark fee was $3.60. So my net earnings were $14.40. And this jean was actually a return. I messed up a long time ago and I sent the wrong jeans to a posher. So she returned them. She got her refund and then I sold them a couple of days later. I mean, not a long time ago, like a couple weeks ago. In the selling world, it's a long time ago. So next was these Under Armour Curry 30 basketball shoes. I got these at TJ Maxx for retail arbitrage. I bought them for $39.99. So I didn't get too much of a profit. I got $5 profit for them. These are, I sold them for $55. My Poshmark fee was $11. So my net earnings were $44 and I got a really nice love note from the buyer. Like I mentioned, I'm not doing retail arbitrage anymore. It's just not my scene. I don't really like it. And I think I'm gonna go more garage sale route closer to the summertime. I do have the yard sale app now on my phone. So I really want to go and scout out estate sales and garage sales and things like that. I want to really bring my um, dollar to item lower because right now I'm not even going to lie. My average is $7 an item and it really sucks. So I want to get it down to $3 an item, but living in the Bay area, it's very hard to do so. But yeah, and the final item that I have to show you is these Madewell Perfect Summer Jean Light Wash. I sold them for $45. My Poshmark fee was $9, so my net earnings were $36. Like I mentioned, I love the Perfect Summer Jean. They sell, especially if they're in a bigger size. These, like I mentioned, I think I mentioned, these were a size 31, which is really good. I like to pick up jeans between 27 and 31 and also plus size because they sell faster. I have some jeans though that I bought for the brand that are sitting because I think they're too small to be sold quickly. I have to go to the right buyer. But yeah, so they're just really cute light wash Madewell jeans. I really like them. Um, I will be picking them up in the future. I pick up the Madewell. Let's see. I will not pick up Under Armour shoes anymore just because they don't sell for a lot. Um, they sell for a lot, but not the retail arbitrage. Would I pick up Madewell again? Yes, I would. I'm just going through everything. Gap jeans. I really like Gap jeans. But they have to be roughly like $8.99 to $6.99 for me to pick them up. Sometimes my Goodwills mark them up to like $12.99 and I won't pick them up for that. But if they're $6.99 to $8.99, I'll pick them up because they are a, a little bit of a nice um, uh, return on those. The BB, I don't pick up BB at all. Um, this, like I said, was in my thrifting Wonderluster box, so that's why I sold it. Baseball tees are not my thing. Sports is just not my thing. I'll let the real buyer or the real sellers sell those, like the ones who sell the baseball stuff. Like that's their thing. It's not my thing. 
Ayo, I will always pick up American Eagle Outfitters Soft and Sexy. I will definitely be picking it up because honestly, it is so comfy, you guys. Like I mentioned, the Sam Edelman shoes I'll pick up if they're a good price. And then I mentioned the other ones that I talked about. But that is everything for today's video. It is a little bit shorter because, like I said, I want to start doing these... Um, this is another tangent. I want to start doing what sold videos once a week for you guys or once uh, like once every other week for you guys instead of just once a month. The reason I would I was doing them once a month was because I wasn't getting too many sales to make it worth it. But I'm thinking that even if I don't make enough sales, I still want to do what's sold so we can kind of catch up on the week or catch up every two weeks and see what has been selling for us. Because as you guys know, trends come and go. People are looking for things all the time that are always different. So I think it's really informational to kind of see at the moment what's selling and what's not so if you guys like that idea give this video a thumbs up if you guys like what sold videos let me know by leaving a comment down below let me know what was the best sale you guys had in the last week mine was definitely the under armor not for the profit margin but for the price like i said it sold for 55 dollars. that's really really good for me i think the overall best sale i had when it comes to uh, making the most money, a uh, most profit off of my item was the Madewell Perfect Skinny Jean or Perfect Skinny Jean, Perfect Summer Jean. So that is everything for today's video. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't entered the Bright Patch fan room. We have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 I'm, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye. Yo, what's up? I'm the man. Really matter Cause I'm the mad head <laughs>